This is episode 23 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, December 21st, 2020. Today's show examines two pale ales and two stouts. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, December 21st, 2020. This is episode 23. This is Tech Guy Steve with today's intro for the host, Chris and Charlie. The goal of this show is to examine the best craft beer from Southern California and beyond. So today we have two different flavor-induced pale ales um, from the same brewery, and then two adjunct-infused stouts with very different flavor profiles from two different breweries. If you want to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. It's the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. <laughs> I'm here. We got tech was, guy, Steve. That was a strong start. Yeah. Jax. Forgot where we were for a minute. <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, so hey, today we uh, we got a couple beers we're gonna take a take a peek at. Uh, a couple at local a beers couple. here. Uh, Pacific Islander Brewing here in uh, or over in Santee. Then we have a uh, beer that Charlie brought back from his trip. Uh, beer from Aslan, uh, and Aslan. we'll we'll finish off with a uh, with a little Alvarado Street Moster collab. Wow, you really you really really done it now, Chris. Twist the legs around a little bit so that you're not. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Technical difficulties here. Yeah, What's Chris's microphone has spanked him in the head there. That's what, what that big thump was. <laughs> so, Charlie, why don't you go ahead and pop that thing? All right, don't yell at me. Did you guys have any good beers since the last time we recorded? <laughs> I did. Did you? What'd you yeah. have, Steve? Disco ball. Well, what uh, From Second one? Chance. Ooh. It's a hazy, hazy IPA. Very well. How hazy. I like Second Chance. I've had a few of their beers. Everybody loves those glasses you got me, Charlie. What's that? Everybody loves the glasses you got me. Oh yeah, that's legit. Oh, and I'll give you the card for the uh, for the limited edition. So, wow, so, different color than I expected. Looks like beer. Smells like beer. This comes in at five point five percent. So, right. what's our first beer there? So it's uh, from Pacific Islander Brewing and. Uh, in Santee, California. It's the Hazy Pineapple Pale Ale. The Hazy Pineapple Pale Ale. I get the pineapple. I can taste a little bit of that if that's what they're putting in there. It's, uh... Let me... Dig in. Smells great. Oh, man, that's a drinker. It is. You can taste, uh... Not really hazy, hazy. Really, tastes a little bit of pineapple, I think. I got a little bitter in there. Yeah, it's kind of like but a I could drink that hazy, though. A hazy IPA or a pineapple yeah. IPA. <laughs> Chris, yeah, it's pretty to, light. You need to move the end that way. I got a, I got yeah. a little pen. A little instructional. Uh, there you go. Look at that. Charlie Perfect. saved the day again. I was going to wrestle with that for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> like handling that more than the beer. Cheers, man. This is pretty good. Cheers. That is. Beer. That's uh, uh, so um, where did these, uh, where'd you, where'd you come up on these, Steve? Uh, my dentist get donated. Ah, to the here we go. There it's like go. pulling teeth with you. Yep. <laughs> so we got this local style uh, hazy pineapple uh, pale ale. Uh, it comes in a twelve ounce can, six packs of uh, twelve ounce cans, uh, available locally here uh, in San Diego. Let's see if, uh, man, that's that's uh, that's pretty pretty all right. That's a Santee drinker right there. You could uh, you could sit there and drink that, huh? <sighs> I like it. It's really smooth. It's, yeah, no, it is. You know what? It's, it's a full flavored IPA. It's got it all in there, I think. And light, you know, that five and a half percent. Yeah, well, that's always nice. And they're 12 ounce cans, which is a plus. Right. 12 ounce all day long. I like 12 ounces. Huh. Yeah, so no, that's, uh, that's definitely drinkable. So your dentist gave you these? Yep. He's a big beer guy. Is he? Mm-hmm. Oh, he's the porter guy, right? Yeah. Did but, you give him the porter I gave you? Not yet. You should walk over there today and hit him up. He's yep. so close. Yep. He's probably not working on Saturday. So. No, Monday. Perfect. So Pacific Islander, um, 
gosh, it's been a, it's been a while since I've been there. I, I, you know, they um, they've been around for a few years, five or six years, right over on the right off the the fifty two and um, is it? Gosh, I don't know. Yeah. Right off the fifty two, I go right by it on the way to Costco every time. Yep. Yeah. If you were, yeah, coming from coming from my house. Yeah. But I don't know the street, cross street. I don't know where it's at. I've never been there, honestly. I'd like to go there. What's the street that you turn, like if, uh, it's, it's, uh, well, it's kind of over by Burning Beard. If you were to, to leave Burning Beard and head towards the 52, towards- Kuimaka? Um, yeah, Kuimaka. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Yep, Kuimaka and uh, right off the 52 right there. Right there? Right. Um, by the sheriff's station? I guess it'd station? be right, so- it is. Well, no, it's south the of the side? 52. Oh, south. Um, yeah. So if you were getting off the freeway- um, it's next to that sharp building. I don't know if you. Uh, it's like the oh, opposite direction of Groundswell. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Where you know where Groundswell Manz- is, or, or the, the old uh, Manzanita. It was Manzanita. Yeah. Okay. It's the other side of Kuimaka on oh, that okay. same road. Okay. So if you left, that's like, Prospect. It, it, is it? Pro- it yeah. is Prospect. It yep. is. Pro- I, I used to know, live in Elkhorn. I kind of remember. I used to live that. right off of Prospect, down <laughs> about a about a mile. Down towards so they, yeah, they kicked you out of Santee. They did. They, threw they won't me allow out. me in, so that I guess that's better than being kicked out. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's definitely drinkable. They have a really uh, you know kind of cool little spot. It's tiny, I think. Uh, they originally when they opened, they were brewing at uh, um, they were brewing at Manzanita on Manzanita's, uh, I believe their test, um, their mm. test. Uh, good beer, brewery. Yep. I no, didn't want to. I didn't want to soil my taste buds by drinking this last night because he did give it to us last night. <laughs> So I, I'm, I'm tasting these for the first time. I am as well. I, I actually laid off of it. You can't even did, say anything because you've already had it. I did a little bit of research <laughs> trying to, uh, you know, trying to figure out like what, uh, what hops they're using in there. Um, not certain, but it certainly it's you taste the, uh, um, the pineapple. I yeah. think on there for sure. It, it's very flavorful. I'm, I get a lot of IBUs in it. I'm tasting the bitterness on the back of my tongue. So that's my only, uh, you know. Thing, but the next one coming up is definitely uh, right up my alley. Oh, what's next? Let me grab it. You should grab it. Okay, this one is a. <laughs> That's the same can. Hey, what the heck? Tried to I, give I us another my twelve eyes ounces. When I reached in there, so this one is a blood orange pale ale. So I'm excited to taste this one. So it's the the local style pale ale, blood orange, same uh, hazy. Does this say hazy? Does that say hazy on the side? No, it doesn't say hazy. Doesn't say hazy. So if we don't haze, we're we're okay. I'm just gonna clean the pal a little bit and then crack this bad boy open. So we have a uh, another pale ale coming in at uh, five point four uh, ABV. Uh, they they list this at uh, at forty three IBUs. Okay, it smells blood orangey. I like the smell of a blood orangey. Yeah, you're a fan of that. Well, there's a couple of different people that make them. And I don't know. This one smells pretty good. I don't know. We'll taste it and find out. But I'm just, uh, Latitude uh, 33 makes a really good blood orange. So this is my only comparison is would be up against that. Ooh, I like that one. Uh, do you? I think a little more than the pineapple. Definitely the, the orange comes through there. You do? Oh, great. I like yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm you diving get up. in. Steve? I mean, man, I think, yeah. uh, man, that. Oh yeah, yeah. That's uh, it's just the right amount of bitterness. Wow, eating. really, that, is, that that orange really, really a lot comes better than through. I thought it was. Be. <laughs> yeah, just, that, I, uh, I have it. I have a a a, a level of uh, likability, and this is this is hitting it. So yeah, that's yeah, definitely better than the other one. Yeah, I mean, you definitely the other get one some, was good, but this is better. the other one was drinkable. But this is uh, you definitely you get that that orange through the citrusy flavors and and the nice amount of bitterness in there. Less, I think, but. You know, I like less bitter. Five point five two. Yeah, that's same, a lot of orange in there, huh? A little mm-hmm. orange mm-hmm. crush. It's a drinker. Yeah, no, that's uh, that could be used as navigational fluid at some point. <laughs> yeah, are you you're getting ready to go on a little vacation, a little little trip, huh? You gonna hit the trails? Yeah, we're gonna go out to Arizona and run some trails, like three hundred miles or so of off roading. So it'll be interesting. Buddy of mine, Jeremy. What happens to the beers when you're doing that bumping and bumping and bumping? <laughs> I don't have shaken beers. <laughs> a lot of other people do, but I don't. So I I styrofoam wrap each one of mine. No, I'm kidding. It's uh, it's not really that. It doesn't affect them that much. Mm-hmm. I mean, most of the time if we're driving, it's Coors Light. 
but then when we get to camp, it's it's like craft beer. So mm-hmm. at least mine are. I mean, I'll share with some people, but you know, I just don't give them out like they're free. <laughs> well, I do, but I don't. So I just like drinking beers. Once you get to camp, get a fire going, have a couple of really good tasty stouts. Or I popped a stout on the last big trail run we did, and it was a. What'd you pop? Remember, I had that uh, cocoa and nibs. Ooh, that's that's uh, phenomenal. That humble sea. Yeah, I so. brought that to a uh, to a bar in in uh, Minneapolis, or oh. like a bar or restaurant. Was that Forager? When I was grabbing lunch? No, I it was actually um, gosh, uh, forgetting the name of it. Um, Ansari's, uh, kind of a little beer bar, Mediterranean restaurant. Go Which over there, hit? get you a gyro, bring your own beer in. You know, I actually had a drecker, I think a drecker sour, and then I uh, brought in a couple of stouts. Was that stout a hit? Oh gosh, these guys had never never heard of it, you know. So their expectations were zero, and then um, yeah, they were mind blown. Yeah, I I, uh, I had a buddy go up there, and when he was up there, he says, "Hey, do you want anything?" I said, "Yeah, grab me three of those crawlers of the cocoa and nibs." And he's like, "Hmm, uh, I think I should get one." And I said, "I highly advise it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they're not cheap, yeah. but they're worth it. Trust yeah, that's me. a great." Uh, they just released a <clears throat> a stout today that uh, they they collabed uh, with Pier on. I think it's a gosh, what was on there? Is that Pier or Pier? Or it's actually Pure, Pure. Project. <laughs> Wait, Pier? Oh, gosh, yeah. it's like the Pier. Oh like yeah, where the boat is. Oh, don't, don't you know? You know. <laughs> so the um, so isn't yeah, that the one that Pure already ran out of? Uh, it, it's called uh, Maple Cocoa Narnar. Oh wow. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a. <clears throat> can you uh, get one of those for us? I can. It's uh, an imperial stout conditioned on maple syrup, coconut, and vanilla. Uh, they say the aroma is a mounds bar. The flavor is hot fudge, cake batter, freshly baked maple bars, syrupy mm. and thick. Baked maple bars. Yeah, I know. So they. Uh, the um, word, I'm baked. a fan of 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 what Humble Sea does up there. Mm-hmm. Um, so back to the Islander. The yeah. Pacific Islander. Good That's, blood orange. Good IPA. I would agree. That's a that's a drinker. I would drink for those sure. both. They're they're summer timers all day long. Or winter, eh, we're gonna go stouts in winter. But I would uh, I would advise highly that somebody drink it. We're yes. gonna get on to the next uh, little bottle or can here. All right. What's uh, what's next? We're going a little Aslan. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you. Uh, Do you know what Neapolitan ice cream smells like? Yeah. So, what do you got there? What's the? It's stripes. Is the is the beer? It's a Neapolitan uh, oh, stout. Right now, this is my favorite smelling beer ever. Even uh, better than blue bear. Stout. Metropolitan. It's it's a Neapolitan stout with uh, chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry in it, and it smells doggone amazing right now. I'm going to tell you that. I don't know how it's going to taste. I hope if it tastes anything like it smells, it's a winner winner. Wow. It's not real. Oh, gosh. Oh, God, that smells. Why don't you uh, go ahead and share it over here? You ever heard of football? Pass it. Perfect. That's good. That's good. Sure it is. Kick that one over to Steve. Take a whiff of that. Yeah, no, you definitely. You know what I'm smelling? You You know what I'm smelling is like Laffy Taffy. To the vanilla and strawberry and chocolate. It does smell like Laffy Ooh, Taffy. Doesn't it? Yeah, for sure. Dog yeah, God, no, that's that sounds um, cool. Gosh, that's a it's not even a it's not viscous viscous viscous. Yeah, it's no it it, it appears to be pretty thin when you kind of shake it shake it around it in your smells, glass. If it smells anything like a taste, I'm all over this. I'm glad I bought as many as I did. Wow. Is it? Man. That's super good. I'm gonna have to like you can taste that. Uh, you taste that strawberry in there. You definitely taste the um, little vanilla. The chocolate's all over. Man. That's pretty. Uh, I there's a lot of flavors in there. Ooh. Distinct flavors. You get the it tastes like that chocolate's kind of. Um, I think. Wow. Yeah, it's definitely a candy smell. Oh my gosh, sure. it's no? like over the top. And it's candy. not super sweet though. You no, know, like like drops too off sweet. real quick. 
yeah, it's that's not like uh, that's because I, I think it's not as thick and it doesn't like stick to the inside of your mouth like a normal stout would. But this is definitely my wow. That's got a great flavor. Super friendly. You definitely taste all the stout. vanilla. You know the the strawberry. It's chocolatey. Wow, I'm liking this. I mean, I'm hints of alcohol, but it's not. You know, it's it's, it's not definitely not at boozy at all. But it uh, is. It's kind of marshmallowy soft, it which is weird because it you're right. It's not super thick. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't appear to be super thick, but it, it definitely has a really good mouthfeel. Like, a, yeah, I can taste the strawberry at the end. Yeah, that, which is that's just wild. Okay, well, here's the dangerous part. It's 15 percent alcohol. Yeah, that's a that's a knock you out of the parker there. That'll uh, that'll put you in your seat. That's a, a yeah. That's a decent beer. That's uh, I, I could definitely drink that again. That's um. And it recommends 38 to 48 degrees, and it's warmer than that. I I didn't realize. I was a little warmer. 55. What's, where's your temp? Well, it it was 59, so it's a little hot. Oh, that's great. We're getting we're getting all the all yeah. The flavors. That's definitely sending all the flavors out. But I think it would be more like ice creamy if you drank it a little colder, wouldn't it? Mm. A little Neapolitan ice creamy. That's a good. Uh, I'm a fan of that beer. Wow. I'm telling you, that's that's right up there with that picket fence. Is that what it's called? That one. So you you picked this up at Aslan. Yeah, these are these are. Uh, I think I got two stouts from Aslan, and uh, then a bunch of IPAs and whatnot that they had. Everything they make is really good. I mean, you can pick and choose, but I mean, it's. I've got a ton of beers from Aslan. I bought. They were happy to see me. Let's put it that way. So. They re- a, did they recognize you? No, they didn't recognize me. They were happy to see me because I gave them a bottle of uh, Modern Times that uh, was that Chiro. Oh, the chocolate Chiro. Yeah, uh-huh. they were. Did you give? Uh, you brought a couple bottles with you when you when you went on your trip. I brought, yeah, you brought a Mostratones. Five, and I come home with one. So. Yeah, what'd you? Uh, who'd you give that Mostratones to? I gave it to one of the guys at the answer. Uh huh. Was he? Uh, was he pretty excited? Oh, the Mostratones. Mm-hmm. No, I gave that to the guy at the Veil. Vale. Yeah. Okay. And then the um, the Horace one, I gave to the guy at the Answer, and he was super excited. I mean, super, super excited because he'd heard of Horace, but he hadn't drank that mm-hmm. beer yet. So he was he was fired up about that. But uh, the the guys and gals at Aslan, I, I pulled that thing out, and he's all like modern times yeah he was he was excited so and then and uh when i made my order she had to, the gal that was taking my order she walked in and she goes he wants two of everything and they said give it to him <laughs> so yeah those modern times beers are difficult to get the other side of the country i think they can get um uh like occasionally they'll do drops of like their um Essentially, our grocery store beers, mm-hmm. the stuff that we can get wherever from modern times, will show up in liquor stores. Like, my nephew will um, will send me a text. He's like, hey, which of these modern times should I get? Or, you know, um, he hasn't previously when they show up in Nashville. Um, but, like, here, like, we have just such good access to, like, we're unbelievably spoiled yeah. with, the, uh, with the brews we have here, I think. Well, especially the stout system. Yeah. If you can get it, I mean. I'm not a, uh, I don't think I'll be waiting in line much anymore. So just my thing. Not I don't fan. mind if it's really, really worth it, but I don't want to camp out overnight. I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm kind of over that. What do you think about this, Steve? It's really good. It's also super approachable. Like <clears throat> if somebody hasn't really tried one of these beers. Well, it's that- not hard to seek up on it. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. That's, I mean, it's smooth. Right, right. It's super smooth. Like, there's not a whole lot of um, boozy. There's a lot of flavors in there. It reminds me of Horace, though, in a way. I yeah. Mean, just how smooth it is. Like, they can just <sighs> hidden, hidden yeah, alcohol. Yeah, it's, it's like, yeah. Hiding that alcohol. Yeah. Me. You know, now that I'm drinking, I took a big gulp right there, and it's it's even warmer than it was. You could start to taste that booze. Yeah. That's for sure. And this is not barrel aged or anything. Alexandria and Herndon, Virginia. They moved from uh, where they were in Herndon, the original spot that I 
went to originally and they were closed. Do you remember that? Yeah, you were really excited. Yeah, I, think, I wasn't I too happy were. with them. Yeah. And so the next time I went there, they were open and I got what I wanted. But this time I drove and I stopped and I'm looking. I, I'm like, I didn't want to get out of the car because I'm looking and it says something. You just see a little, we have moved. And I'm like, oh, great. So I'm thinking in my brain that I'm going to drive, drive another 100 miles somewhere. But it was only like five minutes away. So, And they got a much bigger place yeah. where they have outdoor where they can, you know, open up outdoor type uh-huh. thing. So that was pretty good. But it was just a pull-up drive through where you pull up in the alley and get out and they load it all in your car and right. you drive away. So the um just to yeah, kind of loop back Phil Steven on that story, the uh, the original one. So uh Charlie, I, I think you were out there, it's when you went out there. It must have been when Sophie was first. One of the girls was Yeah, I think it was yeah. So they they you know I'm like, hey, this Aslan has phenomenal beer as well. So they they show that they're um I think it was a Sunday and they had decided to do like a team building Sunday or whatever, but didn't announce it until like the the, the communication of it. I don't think it showed up on their Instagram until no. um, or tra- we certainly didn't see that. It wasn't um, on their website. I know. I that. think it was on their Facebook, but it wasn't on their website. It wasn't so they like it, they they posted on their Facebook that they were having like a uh, um, a team building day or whatever, so they'd be closed. Right. <laughs> and Charlie uh, drove through like DC traffic, oh, right? It's a to get there uh, on there. a Sunday. Even on Sunday, the traffic yeah. there. Could right. Be terrible. Yeah. So to drive over there. And then, um, yeah. So it was, you were less than, uh, Charlie Please. was, yeah, was not. Well, very the warden excited. was with me and she's like, what do you mean they're not open? And I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's one thing. It's one thing when you. <laughs> <laughs> we just drove like an hour and a half to get here <laughs> and. You're telling me they're not available? Right. Just, I, I would have just got out and walked. Yeah. I would have, just walked right onto know, the just, freeway into traffic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Suzanne would have been like, she would have been less than impressed with me. She would have been explaining how she knew this was going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was an, it was a, an eventful day, so we uh, we got out of there right after that. So, Yeah, you were, you were not very happy about that. Yeah, but, but you know what? The next time up, around. They, they made up for it the next time I went there. Yeah. So, I mean, they, they, um, I had a couple of cans, uh, I think it was, was, um, uh, great notion, modern times. Uh And I, you know, held up a four back. I said, are you interested in any of these? And the guy goes, absolutely. You know, Uh he goes, Hey, stay right there. He goes, I'll, I'll trade you, you know, can for can. I'm like, all right, you don't have to, but okay. Well, he gives me four cans of beer that I I hadn't purchased. So I'm like, Hey, these are going to be great. So. Throw him in there, and while he's fishing around, I'm looking back in there, and I find another can. Uh, what was it? Something really good. I can't remember exactly what it was. He's all like, holy cow, man, this is going to be really good. And I said, well, here, here, take these. I think I found two cans that I had left. Gave it to him, and he's all, you stay right there. And that's when he brought out that. It was a uh, Bottle Logic. Uh, I think it was a Bottle Logic. Aslan collab, um, barrel aged, uh, Anaheim, I think yeah. is the, the name of the beer. And I gave that one to you. I, he did give that. One. <laughs> <laughs> and where's that at? <laughs> yeah. We might be able to bring that, uh, bring that by one. Crack of that out. Yeah. yeah. It was, it was, he goes, he goes, you and your friends knock yourself out with this one. And I said, Oh, don't worry. We will. <laughs> so he's a really nice guy. Helped me out. Helped him out. We're happy. On my way, I went with a bunch of beer. So yeah, they um. So recently, they've uh, they're sold in Minnesota. Some mm-hmm. Aslan beers are. Um, must be a really small di- distribution deal, but they uh, um, you can go to like Forager. Always has uh, doesn't always, but uh, they sell a handful of breweries. I've seen Jay Wakefield there and and Aslan. Um, but yeah, you can. Buy them from other breweries, small That's distribution stuff. That's so good. It's great to see them. Uh, I like, I like that. I like. I said I've said this a million times. They should be able to ship anywhere in the country right now. I mean, with the situation with the COVID and everything. Yeah, yeah it's they. I mean, I agree. Like you know, there's a, there's a big push in Minnesota. I think you know with their archaic liquor laws and the and the three tier where it's got to be distributor and and um, gosh, I, I'm not certain how that all works, but they. 
they're limited in what they can sell and what packaging they can sell. So yeah. they can sell crowlers on site, but they can't sell their own 16 ounce cans if they canned it in the back. Like here we can walk into any brewery around and uh that has cans yeah a, a crowlers cans whatever bottles whatever it be uh and and eh, that's not the case in in minnesota like it, you can't get cans of like forager had to create another brand humble forager in wisconsin to be able to sell canned beer wow so the, what minnesota what right they, so yeah. like in the end like they're you're gonna beat like they they beat the the, the system right? right i mean you're you're Set up whatever, whatever you whatever you protected yourself from is going to figure out. Somebody's going to figure out a way around. Right, it. and there's like just there's a handful money of doing that. There's a handful of breweries right. that have done it that that have set up canning in in Wisconsin with you know under other owners. You right. know, but the, so it's going to happen. Like why right, not take but then all the labor is going to that other. Right, exactly. All the jobs, all the tax dollars. Like you lose out on everything, man. Yeah. So the um, these rules are just. Yeah. No. So like, who the, was fighting that? What what brewery was really fighting that? Was that. Um, uh, so Surly kind of, oh, you know, it's like a Surly rule. Yeah, it is. That's yeah, they they got it passed because previously you couldn't sell any on-site <laughs> beer, which is, is insane <laughs> to me. And now there's a big push, like the, um, like the the distilleries, like they can only sell one size bottle in there, um, and then yeah, so it's, uh, yeah. Once Minnesota gets all that straightened out, maybe I'll uh, move back. I'll move back. <laughs> No, 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 no chance of that. That's the only reason why you're not living there. That's now right. That's they're, right. They're archaic beer laws. That's right. I'm out of here. I'm going to a place where I can get some beer. So, uh, what's this final beer here, Charlie? You know what this is. You tell me. I do know what it is. So, it's an Alvarado Street, uh, Mostra Collab, uh, Nibbin La Vida Mocha. It's a great name. They actually, uh, they mention on their, um, yeah, Ricky Martin's on the label. Yeah, there. That's why I brought it, Charlie. Yeah, one I of your favorites. That was it. It's got coffee, bourbon bell aged stout with cacao nibs and Mostra coffee. Let me tell Mostra you, Mostra coffee. That smells like some major coffee in this thing. So yeah, here we so go. this um. This little guy comes in about uh, 15.1%. It's bourbon barrel-aged stout. Uh, they say this uh, this epic pun has been on the name board for almost three years. 2020 uh, has to be the year to push it uh, push it forward. So it's a blend of imperial stouts to aged in Joseph Magnus and four rose barrels uh, treated with uh, Ecuadorian cacao nibs and Son cacao. of Ghost Bear Espresso blend from Mostra. Um, what was the name of the espresso blend? Uh, son of Ghost Bear. I love that. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I've had that coffee and it is fantastic. I highly advise people to drink Moster coffee because that's what I drink, <laughs> and it's good. <laughs> Let me tell you, man. Yeah, uh, I got wow. too much coffee right now, so I'm gonna have to probably hand out some. Might give you one if you're nice. I would. Uh, hmm. Just so happens, I like coffee. <laughs> Well, Steve's on the and this decaf smells like run, coffee, though. like chocolate coffee. Yeah, take a. I mean, it's okay. I'm not. I'm not real impressed with the smell. I'll give you that. You kidding me? It's barely, man. I'm, you can, I'm, you can I'm, definitely smell some barrel in there. You, you definitely. Uh, I smell, smell barrel, barrel and coffee. That's and, it. And chocolate. What's and, the IB, AB, I, I, I. What's the alcohol by ABV? Volume? Yeah, I, one that's of those uh, it's about fifteen percent. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Wow. Well, I mean, that's all coffee and chocolate. That's, I mean, I'm that's, afraid to drink this. This is great. Man. Okay. That's, that's a good beer. Okay. A lot better than it smells. I'll tell you that. It, it smells a little boozy, but you taste it. And all, all you taste is, is chocolate. That's pretty and, doggone good for, I mean, that coffee. For what is, I was expecting. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not a, not a major, but look at the viscosity. Telling you, man, I'm gonna put that in my rig right now. I could drive around on that. That's um, yeah, I'm that's a fan. Some chocolate. Yeah, that is super chocolatey, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Yeah, definitely no, taste for sure. I'm gonna much much better than it smells. Gosh, diabetes, here we come. <laughs> this, wow. It doesn't. That's... I just, I'm just not getting it on the smell. It's just not there for me. It's kind of kind of boozy smelling. Well, it just doesn't. It smells like. 
I smell barrel. That's all I smell. I mean, personally, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't even drink it if I just smelled it. But well, it tastes it, it tastes a lot better than it smells. That's for sure. That's a good beer, and you know, a uh, and a and a good looking bottle too. Yeah, it's got Ricky, Ricky Martin on it. For Ricky crying out loud. Martin. Le- Nibbin La Vida. Loca. Yeah, I could definitely drink that. Unfortunately, this is a it was a brewery only. Um, it was a one time deal. Yeah, one time deal. It was Ouch. a um, uh, coworker of mine shot it on down to me. It's awfully nice of him. Yeah, you no, a couple he, of those, don't you? Got a couple, a uh, couple coworkers that uh, that'll come through occasionally. I'm a fan of that. I could. Uh, and this is the after potty, so yeah. So the we're gonna um, have to pound a like a what is it a 500 milliliter? Yeah, it's a a, a a smaller bottle. I guess the um, it's a really cool bottle though. It's the same bottles that uh, Mo- um, uh, Moxa's using. Moxa uses and and Humble C. We've seen them like the kind of the dark mat. Yeah, the mat uh, non. You can't see through that. Uh, comes in a wax uh, wax black wax topped. Uh, yeah, but those Bottle. big bottles are just, if you don't have three people, you're out of luck. Right. This one you could split with somebody. Especially if somebody doesn't like it. Yeah, much. those 500s are, are great. Um, I, that's, I'd that's like to see to more stouts, stouts yeah. set there, set in those 500s, vice the 22s. Like, I have so many 22-ounce stouts. I got a few. This bottle, like, with that, I would drink that on my own. Really? Right. Um, yeah, I think so. Like, you, you totally could. Like, if it was... If you're watching a football game or whatever sporting event, you're hanging out you for a couple see hours. The end of it, if you drank that. Um. <laughs> well, no. I mean, you figure. I mean, you got. Uh, okay, you would either care that or who won. A couple of double IPAs. You know, if you had a couple of double IPAs or that, it'd be about the same thing. Yeah. Um, maybe a little bit heavier on that one, but but you could do it, right? Yeah. Like that bomber, well, like 500 milliliters. Yeah. Good luck with that thing on a Monday night football. Yeah. Golly, you'd have to be busy. Yeah. No. The uh, every time they said touchdown, you'd have to drink. You have to be a Jets fan yeah. to drink that, you know? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> you like, so. No, this is a phenomenal beer. I, uh, I'm i a fan of that. It looks good. Smells good. I mean, it smells all right, but it tastes pretty doggone good. That coffee and that uh, those cacao nibs, like, it, it, it's such a good blend. Like, it's just a. I think the coffee saved it for me. It is so chocolatey and just, like, the perfect mixture. You know those. I'm impressed with with the guys at, at Moster. I'm really excited for that uh, that 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 membership and to see what that has to offer and, and you know, kind of a uh, has offered. It, it offers me free coffee when I go up there. That's a plus all to its own. Then you get you know a certain discount, and mm-hmm. then you get to go to their VIP. Um, was it TME? Yeah, yeah, the um, they yeah they're about to release that beer here soon. But the I, I'd love to just sit and talk to um like Mike the uh, the lab dining so the the guy that was kind of the roaster. I, you know, I, I did a little bit of research on or a little bit of reading on Moster and kind of their their background. It's a pretty wild story yeah. how quickly those guys blew up. But yeah, yeah I will definitely. Uh, I think we're we're gonna look at you know moving forward a um just focusing on them some of their beers for for a show. So yeah, we'll talk about that. But um. Man, that's a that's a good beer. What else you guys got? That was it. That was the after party. That's it. We do what we do. You know, we it's almost like we need six beers now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're yeah. getting on a roll. Look at this Steve. No. 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 No, we're not doing six. We we're didn't not... have any beers that we had major audio problems at the beginning. Yeah. 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 Well, that's your fault. We're gonna blame that on yeah. you. Cha cha. Yeah. <laughs> it's all physics, Chris. Ah, uh, good beers. Well, good that was beers phenomenal. Today. So we, yeah, we, uh, just to kind of recap, we, we had a couple of beers from PIB, uh, from the good, uh, dentist. Those were Islander. Phenomenal. Yeah. I, I would say, yeah, no, they, uh, are definitely drinkable. Uh, the, the pineapple didn't come through as much as the blood orange for Yeah. Me. Blood orange was better. It, mm-hmm. And both of them were good, but the blood orange was better out of the two. Yeah. That, that blood orange would definitely be, uh, crushable. Yeah. It'd be a good, uh, and they're, they're canned beer. and they're ready to go. 12 ounce cans. Great just size. Just drop by the brewery, pick them up. Swing on by there. We have the striped from that Aslan. This is me shaking out the rest of that Aslan there. Yeah. Charlie uh, he brought the the Neapolitan, the Metro, Metropolitan, excuse me. It's Neo. Uh, Come Neo, on. Neapolitan. Uh, 
Man, that's so that's phenomenal, right there, Yeah, man. no, that's really good. And uh, and we finished with the Alvarado and Mostra, yeah, which I think uh, was was Mostra saved well. him. I think that's a great beer, man. There, uh, that that barrel care. So when you can smell, like like you had pointed out, the amount of barrel that you smell up front, and then just to not have any booziness. Yeah, I was. I mean, I was shocked. I'll yeah, for sure. And that's, I mean, that's coming at a fifteen point one percent. That's a heavy hitter. 15 so the, is 15, that's what I say. Yeah, so the, um, you know, I've definitely definitely tasted booze here. I think that, I mean, that was great. That was a phenomenal beer. So once again, uh, I think we had uh, some really good beers today. I like it. To that, next time. Cheers. 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 So to summarize, today's show, we had two beers from Pacific Islander Beer Company. The first was a hazy pineapple pale ale. And the second was their Blood Orange Pale Ale. Pacific Islander Beer Company is based out of Santee, California. And you can pick up those two beers if you just pop over to the brewery in Santee if you're in the San Diego area. And thank you very much to my dentist and Pacific Islander for making those beers available to us. It was very much appreciated. The two other beers we had, the first was Stripes, an imperial stout with chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry from Aslan Beer Company in Herndon, Virginia. And the last uh, beer was the Nibden La Vida Mocha, a bourbon barrel-aged stout with cacao, nibs, and Mostra coffee from Alvarado Street Brewery in Monterey, California. To subscribe to the PodCraft Show, get links to all the beers and breweries mentioned, see pictures of the beers we examined today, and to connect with the podcast via email or social media, then head over to thepodcraft.com for all that info. As we close out today's show, we do have three requests for listeners of the show. First, please continue to recommend the show to the craft beer friends and family members in your life. Word of mouth is one of the best ways to increase listenership. And second, please consider rating and reviewing the podcast on the platform you are listening to it on. This helps others find the podcast via searching and discovery on those on the many podcast platforms available. And third, if you have constructive criticism on how we can improve, then please send us email via the links on the website. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for the Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great day and Merry Christmas. The Podcraft Podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020. The podcast is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for information, educational, and discussion purposes only in compliance with the fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.